So we are headed to Texas in the morning. We will be driving all the way from Indianapolis all the way down to southeast of Dallas, Texas. So it is roughly 977 miles one way. And according to the car, there are five supercharger stops. Now we did look on a better route planner, which is an app you can download and it is a very sophisticated app. It allows you to change all kinds of settings, what kind of battery degradation you have, what kind of speed you're gonna be driving, all that stuff very customizable and that suggests we're gonna have six stops. So we will probably do something in the middle of both of those. Now a better route planner suggests it'll be 16 hours and 21 minutes if we follow their route. So let's take a look and see what the Tesla thinks it'll be because it is different and it does take longer according to the car. So here's our route starting all the way up on the north side of Indy. We will be heading into Illinois down through Missouri and then all the way over into Texas. This is where our hotel is. It's a small little place called Athens, Texas. There's not a lot there, but my wife's parents live there and we will be heading there for the holiday weekend. So we have not seen them in quite some time. So this is our trip. The car says 17 hours and 23 minutes, which is one hour longer than a better route planner suggests. And that is because instead of doing short supercharger stops, you can see there's one less on this route, but we're stopping at all these superchargers really long. So you can see the first one, it wants us to stay there for 50 minutes, 35 minutes, 40, 30, 40. We will not be doing that. So we will be adding more chargers along the way and stopping for less amount of time and that is the quickest way and just looking at the difference between the two there is at least an hour to be saved by stopping one extra charger so um, that should be a pretty good tip for you if you are planning a trip we're at 90 percent and you can set your charging to schedule so you can set this so that you can have this thing set at 100% at the time you leave. So we are um, not going to do that tonight. However, that is a possibility if you know exactly when you're gonna leave, you can just go ahead and schedule it. You can say, start charging at a specific time, or I want to depart at 7 a.m. at 100%, and then it won't start charging until it thinks it needs to to get you ready at the specified time. So at 90%, it is going to allow us to arrive at the first supercharger at 8%. So the plan is when I wake up, I will turn this up to 100% and we will just let it charge as much as it can by the time we're ready to go. So that last 10% will take quite a bit of time in order to charge. So no, uh, no worry about hitting 100% before we leave in the morning. But just to give us a little bit of extra buffer, 8% is plenty, but it is supposed to rain. I don't know how much of this trip it's going to rain, but we want to have a little bit of buffer between these stops. So that's the plan. We're going to get up bright and early, try to be on the road before 7. Originally, we were thinking 5 a.m., but we're super exhausted. So there's no point in trying to rush it too bad. So before 7 o'clock, sometime between 6 and 7 in the morning, We'll hit the road. Next time you see us, we will be up, loaded in the car, and ready to roll. All right, and we're up. It is 6.46. We're about to hit the road. Shows that we'll be at our first supercharger stop, Effingham, Illinois, in a couple of hours, two and a half hours, something like that. So let's take a look. So 13% arrival. It says 50 minutes. Of course, we're not doing that. We'll follow the other suggestion from a better route planner. So there's another stop right down here in between these two that we'll take. So we'll get unplugged and going. 95% is what we're able to get to. So we'll get this trip on the road.
made it to our first stop, 170 miles later, 351 hour per mile due to the rain and wind. It was not great, and we had the heat rolling. So, battery warning, 5%, and we are supposed to be here for 50 minutes, but we're not gonna do that. So, here's what the plan looks like. We're actually going to make it to this supercharger right here in Mount Vernon instead. So, we need to be here for about 15 minutes, it says. So, that's more like it. We're gonna split the stint up and do two 15-minute charges rather than one 50-minute charge. So, we will get plugged in and get rolling. All right, we're at 50%. It says we're almost done, but we should arrive at 17%. And we are using quite a bit more energy than normal because of the rain and the wind. So we are going to go ahead and unplug. We'll be at about 51%, 18% arrival. We'll see how we do. percent we're supposed to be here for about 25 minutes so we're going to get plugged in and see how we did we did 356 watt hour per mile again awfully terrible but wet roads windy a little chilly but it's starting to warm up actually getting close to 60 so hopefully the sun comes out let's get plugged in and see how we do All right, so we're all charged up 71%. We should arrive at 15% at the next charger, so we will get unplugged. $11.20, we'll get unplugged and get going. So we made it 10%. We're gonna be here for about 35 minutes. Memphis is the next stop. It is a little bit off the beaten path because we're gonna to have to go inward to get to the supercharger and then back out. But that's just how it is. There's no supercharger here and there's no supercharger between those two. So there are two on the way and that'll change this whole route in the future. So we'll get plugged in and see uh, how quickly we can get out of here. All right, so we are plenty full enough to get there. $13.34. I'm going to let it get to 90, then we'll unplug. Looks like we'll arrive at 15. I gave it a little bit of extra juice because it is so windy. And as you can see, our consumption is way high because of that wind and rain earlier. So this next stretch is a pretty big one, 157 miles, almost two and a half hours to get there. So we're going to go ahead and unplug now. 1334. percent left that was really rough we had to go really slow because the wind was just so rude it was very very bad so 40 minutes here we are going to actually give as much buffer as we can for this next stretch i can't understate the wind we ended up at 361 because we were going so slow that last 20 miles and really brought it down we were over 400 watt hour per mile for most of that it was rough so we'll get plugged in and get this thing charged up 
All right, we're at 93%. I'm trying to give it as much extra juice as we can because of this terrible consumption due to wind. So 93%, it says we'll arrive at 17. So I'm gonna give it three more, we'll go to 95%. All right, now we're at $9.45, so it's a lot cheaper to charge here in, where are we at, Memphis? Yeah. Yeah, we're in Memphis. So, next stop is Little Rock, and that's where we're going to get dinner. There's the outlet mall at that supercharger. Here's, this is not a bad little spot. There's a few places, not a lot, but a few. So, we will uh, let this charge 2% more and unplug and go. All right, 95%. 984. percent we did 324 watt hour per mile at 164 miles way less wind on that stint because we were doing 80 so we're going to be here for 25 minutes as a matter of fact we're actually going to eat here because there is so much stuff there's an outlet mall and there's a bunch of dining options so we're going to eat here maybe charge a little bit longer than we need to um, but if we look at the rest of the trip here we actually went ahead and booked a hotel for tonight out here in Mount Pleasant, which is two hours from our destination. So we're gonna um, have one more supercharger stop tonight after this before we get to Mount Pleasant. And then Sulphur Springs is the supercharger we'll hit in the morning before we head down into Athens. So we'll get plugged in and get going. Hey. What is it? It's a snowflake. It's a snowflake? Look at this one. And then there's snowflake. Look at this one. It's my one. That's so cool. Yeah. All right, so we had a good dinner. It was pretty quick, pretty light, whatever. But there's a lot. Here's a good supercharging location. So we are charged way too much, but that's okay. We do have to top off at one more supercharger, so let's take a look. So we're at 96%, $13.24. Let's take a look at the route, what we have left. Texarkana is the next stop. It says just 10 minutes, then we can get to the hotel. We'll probably uh, juice it up a little bit more than that, so that way in the morning we don't have any issues because then we're gonna stop here in Sulphur Springs to hit this supercharger up before we head straight south. So. That's the plan. It says we should be at 8.50 and then at the hotel about 10 o'clock. So I think we shouldn't have any issues doing that. So let's get unplugged and hit the road. percent we're gonna get plugged in and charged up I do need to add our destination for tonight so it says 15 minutes here and then we can get to the hotel we are going to top off a little bit just to make sure in the morning we can make it to Sulphur Springs uh, at the moment it's saying minus 16 which is cool that's not our destination um, but we will plug in get some juice and then head to the hotel all right so here's the strategy we're at 75% which means we can make it to the next supercharger 
at 25%. Now we only have to go to Mount Pleasant, which is three quarters of the way roughly. And the idea was whatever range loss we had overnight because of the cold temps, we would have plenty of juice to get to the supercharger in the morning. So it's only about 30 miles from the hotel to that supercharger, but we have enough now. So at $4.40, we're going to unplug and we're going to set our destination to the hotel. And it says we should be there with 44%. So should be about 56 minutes, almost an hour. Should be there right at about 10 o'clock. So we'll get unplugged and get going. So we did make it. It is 10.07. We made it about 10 minutes ago. Let's take a look at how it went. So we arrived at 45% and now just again, let's see how we're looking for the supercharger in the morning. It's the Sulphur Springs supercharger. It's only 35 miles away and it says 26%. So we did pretty good getting to the hotel. Uh, that last leg we did 333 watt hour per mile, 62 miles at 80 miles an hour, 75 mile an hour speed limit down here. So if we look at the whole trip, we're sitting at 344 watt hour per mile, which is horrendous for this long of a trip. I think it's time to lay down and get some rest and we will wake up nice and early have a good breakfast and then we'll hit the road so next time we see you it'll be in the morning all right well we had a really good breakfast we are up and at them we're ready to hit the road you ready boys no <laughs> no apparently not okay so let's take one more look at how we finish this trip up all right so here we go i dropped a pin close to their house 105 miles ago two hours and three oh, minutes with charging guys. It does say 15 minutes at the Sulphur Springs Supercharger, which we are going to pretty much top it all the way up. Uh, that way we've got plenty of charge, because like I said earlier, there's no charging infrastructure in Athens. So we will get moving to the Sulphur Springs Supercharger and we will catch you there. So we made it through the cutest town in Texas. It is 22% arrival, says 15 minutes. Again, we're gonna charge to 100% or 90-ish, somewhere in there. So we got plenty of juice once we get to where we're going. Uh, 418 one hour per mile with the heat blasting and the heated seats and the defrost and everything else and 40 degrees. So we'll get plugged in and wrap this up. All right, so we're at 87%. At 88, we're gonna unplug $6.38. There's 88%. We are going to finish this up. Looks like we have 70 miles to go. So we have plenty of juice to get there and back. So we're gonna, so we're gonna get unplugged now and finish up the trip. So we made it, we have made it, made it, made it. Not too bad of a trip. That last leg was 70.9 miles, 349 watt hour per mile. It was not the greatest, it was pretty hilly on there. So um, I guess that makes sense. We were doing about 75 
uh, which is not unreasonable. So a little bit higher than I expected, but not too bad overall. So let's take a look here. So 349 one hour per mile, 70.9 miles for the whole trip. 979.4 miles, 340 kilowatt hours at 347 watt hour per mile, which is probably the worst road trip we've done from an energy consumption standpoint. So that's pretty dang bad. Now here's the thing. So for here, we're just going to use the 110 outlet at the house. However, uh, if we look at Sulphur Springs, that's the one we're going to have to hit on the way back. Now it looks like In Tyler, Texas Turn right on to has East one, Clinton but Avenue. we have enough juice to get there. It's interesting. I didn't realize there was one in Tyler. That one's only 30 miles away. So let's see what that one looks like. So that one would take about, okay, that one's about 40 miles away, but it may be worth the trip to go ahead and get fully charged about a little, little bit more than half the way um, to Sulphur Springs. So. so the point is out here, we do have some options. I did look on PlugShare. There are a couple of residential outlets listed. So we'll see if anybody responds. There were two of them. So um, otherwise, we're just gonna use the 110. Uh, there shouldn't be any issues. It's not like there's a bunch of things open for us to drive around and do. So um, nothing crazy there. So about 980 miles, which means another 980 miles to get back home. And we will be headed back home in just a couple of days. Overall, it was a great trip. Um, the car did fantastic as usual. However, that wind was really bad and it killed us on a range perspective. It was not bad after the first charging stop or the second charging stop. Once we, you know, um, adjusted for that, then we were fine. The problem was when we took off, it wasn't as bad. So we needed to adjust and account for that between charging. So we started overcharging at charging stops. And then once we hit Memphis, the wind was kind of over. So it wasn't really a big deal. We didn't need to overcharge anymore. So anyways, um, that's what's nice about having the supercharging network is although there's still some areas where it'd be nice to have another one in between, um, it is absolutely the most robust charging network in the country right now. So that makes a big difference when there's inclement weather, when you're using the heater the whole time, all those factors really eat into your range. So having a network that's substantial enough to be able to account for that type of uh, situation is critical, especially on these big, you know, thousand mile road trips. So Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. We will follow up on the way home and see how we do compared to the trip down. We really appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.